we are back with another video. In today's video, we are going to show you some hit ups from CWL. Uh, we got some beauties. Uh, there's some there's some 12 v13s, two 12 v13s that are you know the bases are bases are kind of rushed and everything. Walls are really bad, uh, but they do have the scatter shots. But the attacks are really perfect. There's also one of them taken by uh, one of my clam mates. He's getting really much better at this, so I want to give him some love. Put one of his in the video. But the last attack in the video is going to be a town hall 10 attack, not just a town hall 10, a rush town hall 10 with rushed heroes against a Town Hall 11 with an Eagle, and it was a really, really nice attack. So sit tight, buckle up, stay tuned, and enjoy the attacks. Okay, so on this attack, I was going 12v13. Again, you know, some of the defenses are a little low, but it does have the scatter shots. But what I do want to show you is in this attack, this was going to be more of a open face sandwich. Uh, meaning that I always say that on a hybrid attack, you want to have a sand, you want to make a sandwich. Basically, you're going to be using one piece of bread is going to be your queen. Your queen's taking care of one side. The other side, the other piece of bread is going to be your pekkas with your wizards dealing with the other side. And the meat in the middle, the sandwich, the thing in the middle that's taking care of business is going to be your hogs and your miners. Now, I call this an open face sandwich because my queen basically did her job. Uh, she took care of, she went inside here and she took and she took care of everything. She took care of everything like this. This is pretty much what my queen ended up taking care of, including the CC. So that's one, that's, that's one piece of bread, but that piece of bread was gone. The other piece of bread was my Pekkas and my wizards from the siege barracks, which then took care of this side of the base. Okay, so this side of the base was gone, and then my miners and piggies went right up the gut of this base. Once the funnel is made, everything revolves around the funnel. If a good funnel is made, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it always matters if you lose your queen, but as long as you made that funnel, and as long as you get those miners and piggies into the core, you will likely triple. So let's play this one out and see how it went. Uh, let's get it in double speed. There's the queen with the Coco Loons, the baby dragon, the healers. Wall break is in, gets through the wall. Uh, one drag comes out, drops a rage. There's another wall break to get into the eagle and to take care of a uh, take care of a inferno. Other dragon comes out. Deal with that dragon. I tried not to use, I was trying to save the poison for, uh, I figured for the royal champ I could save it. The queen was a low level queen. Uh, it was probably a mistake because I ended up having to use my, having to use my ability and then I ended up, ended up losing all my healers. But uh, here comes the meat and the other piece of bread. I got the P.E.K.K.A. in. So the P.E.K.K.A. and those wizards are really, really clearing a nice portion. The piggies and miners get into the core. The siege barracks piggies come in and help out on those defenses that the wizards couldn't reach. And that is pretty much it. There's the poison on the royal champ that I used. Took out the royal champ. Let's get it up to four times speed and move on to the next one. There's the triple, there's the army comp, and done. Okay, so here is another 12v13 by X Pro Static. Uh, X Pro Static, if you notice his army comp in difference to mine, he is bringing one extra heal spell. He's got three instead of two, and he's got uh, one less freeze, and he doesn't bring a poison. Reason being is he also, there's one more change that he does. He brings... A wall wrecker. Um, now, what he does is on his queen charges, most of the time, Expo Static, what he's doing is he's charging his queen in behind his wrecker. He tries to wall break as much as he does. He's just getting used to using wall breakers. But he gets his wrecker in, and his wrecker's got uh, ice golems in there, which pretty much keeps his queen alive. So there, there are the freezes. So he's using a wrecker with ice golems instead of that extra freeze. And he's dealing with the poison also. He's dealing, he doesn't need the poison also because his ice golems are freezing everything in there. And he figures his queen is going to take care of it. Um, he's going to get into this base and end up minoring through. Uh, well, let's, let's watch it, see how it goes. The important thing is, is just to show the difference 
the, another way of using the hybrid using a different siege machine. So let's play it in double speed and take a look at the attack. Uh, there's his queen. No Coco Loon for the healers. No Coco Loon for the baby D. No Coco Loon for the other baby D. Um, so he makes his funnel with those baby Ds. He gets his queen in as far as it can go. When he sees his queen is going to start getting targeted by the single and targets, then he's then he gets his wrecker in. He freezes the the single target so his queen could stay alive, and then the ice golems start working with those with those with that queen. Uh, ice golems freeze everything up, and King shoots over there, clears some clears some area for for the miners and piggies, and in come the miners and piggies, and now it's just about dropping those. Dropping those heal spells properly. I uh, want to use the heal spells around the Wiz Towers. He did miss a. He did miss that Wiz Tower. I don't know how his troops missed that Wiz Tower, but he's got plenty of troops up there. Plenty of spells. Plenty of troops. War and ability still has the war and ability. So no big deal. It's quadruple speed to the end of this and see his army comp once again and move on to another one. GGX Pro Static, aka Chicken Man. Okay, so here we have a really, really nice hit up from a baby Rush 10. I mean, look at those heroes 25 36 with a power potion. So this is a rushed Town Hall 10 going up against an 11 with bad walls. Okay, defenses are decent. Um, he took a really, really beautiful, really beautiful attack. Uh, he used a baby drag to clear this side of the funnel. He used his king to clear this side of the funnel. And he charged his queen into the base. Okay? Uh, that was, that was step one, which he took care of. Oh, also one other thing. He lured the CC and he brought the CC over to the queen. His queen took, basically, his queen took care of... All of this stuff. And then, I mean, she 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 walked into this base and then walked around. That's what that's the pathing that his queen took. So now let's look over in this area. He's gonna have a couple of a couple of things left over that his baby dragon wasn't able to take out. Uh, what he's gonna do is he's going to drop his siege barracks up over here. He's gonna use a single wizard to thin out some of these outside structures over here and then he's going to drop at six o'clock he's going to drop his miners coming in this way into the base the miners are going to come this way okay with the the piggies are going to go in the piggies are coming straight in like this the, and the piggies, uh, I'm sorry, the piggies are going to come in straight like this, and they're going to go all together into the core. Now, let's look over at the siege barracks, what that's going to do. When the siege barracks comes out, it's going to cut this piece out, which is going to allow all of his troops to go into the core like this. Really, really beautiful attack. Uh, let me stop saying how beautiful it is and get rid of the squiggly lines and hit that play button. Uh, so let's zoom in on this queen and watch the action. There is the... Coco Loon and the Baby D. He wanted to make sure there was no Tesla over there, so he dropped the Coco Loon to the other side of it, see if there was going to be a Tesla that popped, and obviously there was none. Uh, Queen's dealing with some of the stuff over there. He's going to drop the King to make sure he can charge that Queen directly into this base. Once he takes care of that, that uh, there we go. King goes down. Level 25 King. <laughs> takes a lot for that for that dude to work. There's the freeze. There's the wall breakers. Gets the wall break that he wanted. Uh, there was an archer that was shooting at it. Was a little scared over here, but there wasn't much to make the queen go the other way. She was, she was taking down this archer tower. It was either gold or gold, and she came back for this gold storage. Drops a rage for her. Tries to get another wall break. A very, very patient wall break, but almost got it, but... You know, he just couldn't get it. He couldn't get that wall break against that, uh, against even with the rage, he couldn't get that wall breaker with those baby wall breakers. Uh, but he does take out the eagles. So now let's watch over here what's going to happen. He's going to drop the siege barracks up at nine o'clock. Well, there's the, he just lured the CC. CC's going to come over now to the queen. I'm sorry. I'm jumping, Avi. Avi, you're jumping. Focus, Avi. There's the CC troops coming. Raid spell dropping, getting that queen back up to full health. Look at this poison that he's going to get. He's going to have the CC and the queen in that poison. Wow. That is the... Now, okay, now we go. The P.E.K.K.A. goes down and out come those wizards. Drops one of his own wizards over there to, to again, start thinning that stuff out. 
he thins out one one uh, mortar. Wanted to get that other thing. Now come the miners. Miners start going in. They're going from from thing to thing. Now come the piggies. Piggies go in. Peck is still tanking over there. And they take out that archer tower. There's that archer tower that he needed out. First heal spell is down. Beautiful heal spell. Get those piggies back up to full health. Pekka is still tanking, getting some more charging for that Pekka. The Siege Barrack uh, piggies are coming out now, and now they're dealing with the defenses that were on the side over there. The Miners go through into the core, Miners and piggies into the core, gets a beautifully placed heal spell down that tries to get both sets of piggies. His piggies and the piggies from that Siege Barracks tries to get them all healed up, even protects them from that giant bomb that goes off. What a really, really beautiful, beautiful attack. Nice job, Daba, getting the 10v11. Uh, let's quadruple speed this now and see the army comp and move on. Real nice job, Daba. GG, Daba. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out till the end. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's something specific that you're looking for that you want to see. Um, the next video I think we got coming out is a pretty cute one. It is a, a, just a fix-up. A fix-up on an attack. I took one attack. Well, we'll talk about it in the next video. So make sure you got notifications on so you can see the next video and uh, get notified when the next video comes out. And until then, have a great day. Have a good day, everybody.